my little angels. Come on in. Come on in. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm doing very lo-fi tonight. I'm staying up late. Everybody else is in bed, but I can't sleep. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to talk to you guys. Because maybe you guys are having trouble sleeping too. If you're new here, thanks so much. I appreciate you giving me a chance. I do appreciate it. And if you like what you see, you can like it, you can share, definitely comment, please. I love the comments. And definitely subscribe, please. It's down below. And those that are returning, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. I hope the camera's not shaking too much. I'm literally doing this old school and just holding it. But I was thinking, I was watching some videos because so many ASM artists um, posted today. Um, Jeannie B did one with the Countess. Oh my gosh, you guys have got to watch it. And Lori Latte did some amazing ones today, um, showing her spooky press ons. Oh, I love it. I love Lori's videos too. And Akira of Edinburgh did one today. Oh, she sings so beautifully. Oh, I just love it. Um, Oh, and if you haven't seen it, Figbury ASMR did these amazing simmering recipes. I love aromas in the house. And she did two of them. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to make one for sure. I just loved it. Um, and I think others did. I just haven't watched them all yet. But definitely, there's a lot to watch tonight. So when everybody else went to bed, I couldn't sleep. I thought, I'm going to watch them. And then I thought I was going to talk. I want to talk to you guys. I haven't talked to you today. Uh, today started out busy just with stuff around the house and then I kind of crashed. So when I crashed, I listened. So I just went to bed for a bit and then now I'm up. <laughs> so I thought because it's October, um, let's talk spooky movies. I'd love to know what your guys' favorite spooky movie is. Um, I have so many. Uh, we used to have a tradition um, every year. Uh, my sister and I would watch Salem's Lot. Very old movie, I believe from the 70s. Um, about vampires. And that movie scared the crap out of me. To this day, I have to have drapes closed at night. If you've ever seen the movie, you'll understand why. Um, and the sound of scratching on glass scares the crap out of me. Um, and it was funny because I do remember one time my sister's friend was joining us and she had never seen scary movies really. Um, her mom was against them. So I think we were all about, let's see, they must have been 19, so I was like 22. And we were sitting in the living room pitch black with this one but every single time there was a jump scare she would scream so there was one point I'll just spoil a little bit of the movie there's a point in the movie where somebody sits up in a coffin and I said to her they are going to sit up do not scream because she was right beside me and she's like I won't I promise I won't I promise I was sitting on the other side of her and I didn't realize my brother had come in and because you guys got to remember I, I don't see out of this eye so he had come in and I didn't know he was standing there so when they jumped up he put his cold hand on my neck I screamed she screamed my sister and when I have a good scare like that I start laughing afterwards. So I literally fell off the couch laughing. It was a funny moment. It really was. Um, but that movie is like, it's, I find it scary. I'm afraid to watch it now um, because it's been years since I've seen it. But um, I'm sure it'd be quite corny. But yeah. And another movie, and it came out in the 80s, was called Witchboard. It wasn't really popular, but for some reason, it was one of the scariest movies I ever saw. It was um, psychologically scary. So 
like not a lot of blood and guts and stuff, but it was a psychological scare. And these, oh yeah, these. And then, um, I mean, there's always the Exorcist series and the Omen series. Those are, are scary. Um, the Nightmare on Elm Streets, Freddy Krueger, scary. Those movies were well done. That whole series was well done. Uh, the Scream movies, I'm absolutely addicted to the Scream movies. Uh, the Halloween movies, I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed in the last one. I love Jamie Lee Curtis so much, but eh, I just, I don't know. There was just something, it, it didn't do it for me. Um, what are some other ones? Now, I've already told you, The Ring affected me. I will never watch that movie again, ever, to this day. That TV scene just scares the crap out of me. Um, the Sixth Sense, that was a really good spooky movie. Um, what's another good one? I want to hear your guys. I want to know what you guys think is scary movies. I haven't watched, like... I don't like slice and dice, and I don't consider Nightmare on Elm Street a slice and dice. But like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I know it's a cult classic, you guys, but I, I don't like those kind of movies. Um, Evil Dead, oh my gosh, I thought that was one of the funniest scary movies ever. Um, I really liked it, to be honest. And what else? See, my problem is I love to be scared while it's happening it's afterwards i have the problem that's when i snuggle in and i i <laughs> i have to have the dog with me i have to have my husband with me i have, to have the light on somewhere no kidding i literally um slept with the light on for three weeks after the ring the bathroom light but still i had to have a light on i was scared to death um but yeah, being scared. And see, my family, when we grew up, we were nuts, okay? My parents were crazy. We were crazy. We loved to scare each other. And I don't mean like prank scare where you jump out and yell. I mean like hide in the shower and jump out at somebody. That kind of thing. Um, although my, my sister did get my brother really well because he hid in the shower to scare her and she turned the shower on before she does anything she just turned it on so he got soaked which was actually really funny um but yeah we we have done some weird things to each other my brother was the best because he knew where all the vents led to in our apartment when we were living in the apartment and he could go into one and oh amityville horror there's another scary movie that one freaked me out so much so that he would do this to me. He would go and go really close to the vent and whisper, get out, get out. Freaked me right out. Because I am not one of those people that they could make a movie about. Because if a house told me to get out, I would get out. It would be like, bye-bye, nice to see you, goodbye, I'm out. Um, Rosemary's Baby, like there's an oldie but goodie, like, you young ones, you want to look up a, a good movie? Rosemary's Baby was... Again, the special effects are going to look corny, but that was a movie that was frightening. And it was, I think, I think it was controversial at its time. Um, and I'll never forget. Oh, and I think it was a spooky movie, but I think it was also a bit of a slice and dice. But I was 12 years old. And... This movie came on the TV and I couldn't sleep. I can never sleep at night if I'm away from home, really. And I was up. I was lonely. Um, I was in a private room because it was, I, I don't know why. They must have just had it available. And Black Christmas came on. And there's meat hooks involved. That's all I'm going to say about that movie. And Attic Doors. Oh my goodness. I had no business watching that movie. I was just scared the crap out of me. 
And I was convinced that every door that opened and then um, the high school that I went to, it was an old um, building, uh, a historical building, actually. I believe it's, I think it's been declared one. But the city where we lived, a lot of movie companies would use our school as a um, horror movie set. They would rent it at night. Well, I was in the drama programs and we would do rehearsals late at night. And I am telling you, going down those hallways and there's like corridors leading off everywhere. It was spooky. I knew why they they picked it all the time to film. Movie. It was scary spooky. So yeah, we could scare ourselves into everything. Like there was no problems that way. And what other movies or what other scary things did we do? I remember one time, like, my family really got into Halloween, and my sister and I were giving out for trick-or-treaters, and I had found an old Santa Claus outfit, so I had just put on the top and tied a belt around, so I was Mrs. Claus, and I think we dressed her up as a princess or something, and, and then my dad came home, and it became, we were slowly adding to his costume, he had a mask on, and then he had a a tablecloth as a cape and then we painted his hand to look like it was peeling and bloody and and this one little kid he gave him the chocolates and he goes oh your poor hand you need a band-aid <laughs> which I thought was so cute and then another little girl came and she was scared to death of the mask so he took the mask off well I guess to her it looked like he was pulling off his face so she was terrified she the next year, she wouldn't even come to our house. We felt so bad. Um, but I'll tell you a cute story about trick-or-treaters. Uh, this was a few years ago. I may have already told this story, but maybe you forget. I was giving out, and Uncle Angel and Baby Angel had dressed as emergency room doctors. So I was the emergency room patient. And I had the bandage around my head and the blood dripping down. But I had a v-neck on. And we have a lot of Halloween decorations. Like, no joke, people stop and take pictures of our lawn and take pictures of their kids on our lawn. And we have no problems with that. Like, we think it's a great thing. Um, so this little boy came up. I'll never forget him. He was about three. And he was dressed as the Incredible Hulk. And I had bent down to give him his candy and I knew he wanted to ask me something you know how kids get that look on their face when they want to ask you something so I'm like do you need to ask me something okay uh, do you want to tell me something I said okay you can tell me he looks me right in the face he goes I can see your boobies I went okay thank you the mother was mortified mortified I started laughing and couldn't. I said, it's okay. I'm going to go put a different shirt on. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll never forget because the mother was just so embarrassed. I'm like, please, little kids say the sweetest things. Like, I, I just love them because we, we have a giant inflatable cat and the head moves. And this one little girl was scared to death of it. So I, I got down to her level and I said, do you know what that cat's name is? And she said, it has a name. I said, yeah, it's Fluffy. Are you really scared of something named Fluffy? So she's like, no. So when she left, she's like, bye, Fluffy. And I always tell parents, let them pet it, let them touch it so they know it's not real. And, you know, because stuff can be scary. We try not to be too scary. This year we're going way more um, cartoon scary, really. Like, um... We have um, cats, and they glow in the dark. They're skeletons, but they're done in a comical way, like rather than a scary way. So it'll be more fun for the little kids because we notice a lot more little kids on our street. So, yeah, that'll be fun. I love Halloween. I really do. I love watching the kids get dressed up. I love watching the little excitement in their face and you have to come up our stairs to get to our front door. So I like setting up in the garage so that they, like I'm just at the front of the garage, but 
That way they don't have to go up the stairs. They don't have to ring the bell. The dog's not going to freak out. And they seem to like it. We set up a table and all the treats are around. And I try to decorate the garage a bit. So it'll be fun. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun this year. I think we're going to get a lot more kids this year. Like we usually get, um, I think the lowest we've ever had was 50. And the highest we've had, I think, was 110. But one thing I want to tell everybody about, in case you don't know about it, um, there's a program called the Teal Pumpkin Program, and it's it's online. You can download pic posters, pictures to put on your door, or you can paint a pumpkin teal. And what that does is it lets people whose children have allergies know that you have non-food treats to give out. And really, guys, just go to the dollar store. You can get stickers and pencils and notebooks and all kinds of non-food items um, for kids with, with allergies. And it helps them to participate in trick-or-treating too. And it takes a few years to, for word to get around that you have it. Um, but yeah, we, we have some regulars that come around. So I find that a lot of fun. So yeah, I just thought I'd come on and we'd have a little chat about spooky movies and Halloween and just you can listen to soft spoken and just kind of drift off and go to sleep. So I hope you enjoyed and I promise to do a much better video tomorrow more um, with my ring light and everything. <laughs> but have a great night and I hope you all have sweet dreams and remember that I love you, I value you, I honor you and I'm so very glad that you were born.